What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Liquid Crystal walkthrough. Okay, so let's go right ahead and uh, take care of business now. Um, our next mission is to go to the Lake of Rage right here. Now I'm kind of assuming that there's not going to be any crazy shit going up on there. That's why I'm going in there, blindfolded and all that crud. And uh, well, if you talk to this guy, he'll actually tell you about some shady men near uh, Lake of Rage. And it's, he's saying that they need someone with some powerful Pokemon to teach them a lesson. Say, you're a good trainer. Why don't you teach one of your Pokemon Aerial Ace? Sure, why not? Let's go right ahead and teach one of my Pokemon Aerial Ace. And, uh, oh wow, Shroom Lee can actually learn Aerial Ace. Maybe this isn't such a bad idea to teach him Aerial Ace. Let's see, what kind of move should it disappear? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Kind of need Stun Spore. You know what? We're gonna, we're gonna hold off on that. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hold off on that, and uh, yeah, we got we got our grits and everything. We're gonna be beating these guys just like we know how. Destruction, powerful Pokemon, and no mercy, no mercy whatsoever. And uh, well, we're gonna be starting off with Cinderace because you know we're trying to evolve them to its final form. I can do so much with my Pokemon; it's super fun. That is cool. That is awesome. I'm gonna be speed buttoning all over this place right here. So here we go. Camper Spencer wants a battle. He's coming out with his strange true. And it's at level 36. So let's go ahead and switch out to the man, the myth, the legend, Shroom Lee. And of course we're gonna be getting hit hard. So let's go. Mega Drain. Nearly makes this guy faint. Come on. That's right, that's how you do it right there. And I didn't see what it had. Okay, well, there we go. Strength attack does that. And he's coming out with a graveler, so. Let's go again with Mega Drain. That's right, that is how you do it. The other grows a little 37, by the way. Now, I'm assuming if you go through this entrance, yeah, if you go through this entrance, you might get attacked by Team Rocket. Look at that. Hello, that'll be a thousand dollars, please. Thank you very much. And yeah, they took money out of my pocket, so. Yeah, this is probably one way you shouldn't go if uh, you're trying to make a shortcut or anything like that. So here we go, found ourselves a Max Ether. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and uh, keep on battling trainers. Uh, wow, we just skipped a whole buttload of trainers right here. I'm not going to do that, I'm just gonna be battling everybody right now. And, speed button, look at that, Noctel looking all majestic and stuff, but we're gonna be skipping you. And yes, we do have rare Pokemon, so here we go. Battling this guy. Coming out with his Lickitung, level 35. Let's go back to Shroom Lee right here. And, uh, well, let's go with the Sky Uppercut because, yes, it's powerful. Very, very powerful. And Cinder's finally grow learning a new move. And, uh, well, Shroom Lee learning how to be strong and everything. Alrighty, so that right there is it. And, uh, well, battling this young lady right here. Are you going to the Lake of Rage 2? Let's play for a while. Okay. Gonna be battling this guy right now, and uh, she's coming out with her Clefairy, so let's go right ahead and uh, not battle, and just go with uh, Shroom Lee right here. So here we go, and uh, well, the defense has risen, let's go with the Sky Uppercut, and that is how you do it right there. Okay, so I would assume that there's some secret areas right here, so let's go right ahead and surf off, and uh, well, I did bring in a Pokemon for Cut. I just need a T-Jump, so let's go ahead and use Cut. Actually, hold on. Actually, not that not that Pokemon. Hold on. Shroom Lee, yes, I know it would learn Cut. Uh, nope. Yes. And, uh, well, let's try this again. Let's actually go with Krabby right now. And, uh, let's see. Vice Grip. Yeah, we're just gonna take away this guy right here. Of course, we're not going to be using this guy on our team or anything. We're just going to be using him as an HM slave. Now, back in uh, Generation 1, this guy was the ultimate Pokemon slave or HM slave just because it can learn all the uh, HMs except, uh, what was it? Uh, Flash. Yeah, that's what it was. So let's grab this, and here we have two person berries. Yes, sir. That's right. Okay, so let's move on right here. And, uh, yeah, I didn't bring any kind of repels because I didn't know where to buy some. I think, yeah, they're not... <laughs> you don't get any any uh, kind of uh, repels right here. Now, here we have a Magikarp, who's faster than our Pokemon. And rightfully so, because it's raining, and it's Swift Swim or something like that. So, 
We're gonna be switching out right here, and uh, let's go with some Pokemon that hasn't been in here. Usually, this guy right here will actually do the trick. So let's go ahead and battle this guy. I'm in a, I'm in a slump. Maybe it's uh, the gear I'm using. Let's battle for a change of pace. Okay. Well, let's go. Speed button away. We're gonna be. Oh wow! This is the reason why you're in a slump because you got magic carbs. Oh my god. Okay. He's gonna come out with a Gyarados finally. But I'm gonna be using Spark all over the place. This guy has Thrash. And uh, there we go. And no. I'm gonna destroy you with a Spark attack right here. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Look at that. Magneto's growing levels and all that stuff. So we're just gonna continue on right here with uh, Spark, Spark, Sparks. How are you in a slump if you have Gyaradoses on you? Like you would, you would probably be one of the most powerful trainers if you did. If, yeah. I'm just gonna be ranting on and all that stuff. So we defeated this guy right here, and uh, well, let's continue on with uh, the Lake of Rage. Now, I I do think there's gonna be a little bit more to the Lake of Rage than what we originally thought, because this is what it's looking like right now. It's gonna be cutting away, cutting away. There we go. And uh, let's see. Ah, yeah, cutting away right here. I'm gonna be getting some items, and then. We'll probably finish off with getting that red Gyarados if there even is a red Gyarados. I don't know. And let's go right ahead, right here. And wow, we got more cut techniques. More cuts. Okay, so let's move on right here. And uh, well, we found our house. Let's go. Let's go ahead and see what's uh, what this is all about. Talk to this guy. You have straight far. Here I have meditated. Inside me, a new power has been awakened. Let me share my power with you, Pokemon. Take this, child. The TM10, and I'm assuming it is hidden power, probably? Yes, it is. It's hidden power. Draws the power of the Pokemon inside, depending on the Pokemon using it now. And remember, there is like a... There is like an equation. Equation having to do with your stats that will probably, you know, reflect on the outcome of what kind of move or what kind of typing it, this hidden power would do for your Pokemon. Now, let's go right ahead and just move along right here. With our Krabby, you know, Crabcore. I probably should have called him Crabcore, you know. You guys listen to Crabcore? And look at that. TM43 Detect. Okay, so I think we are getting somewhere right here. Now we're just going to be going down and, uh, well, oh wow. How did these things grow back? It's freaking hilarious. It's hilarious. Okay, so let's move on. Again, very, very surprised with how they made this game right here. And it's almost it's almost convincing me to to go on with another hack game right here. Of course, I'm coming out with a, a few more walkthroughs. You guys already know, alongside Liquid Crystal, I'm actually doing Pokemon Omega Ruby now. Mainly because uh, we're still in quarantine. Every single one of us. Don't tell me that you're not under quarantine, because that is a lie. Fuck you, COVID-19. 2020, you are horrible right now. And, uh, well, there's... Oh, wow, that's... I'm assuming that is Lance, so let's go right ahead and uh, go the other way right here. And uh, well, I could surf, but I kind of want to go through this bushy areas right here. So let's see. Oh, look at that. We found ourselves a Lotad. It's a cool Pokemon. Possible Pokemon that I would have actually had back in Sinnoh. And uh, here we go again with another attacker, and he is a Noctowl. Okay. Don't care. All right, let's battle these nerds right here, the super nerds. Where'd you get this? Some me, what the hell? Some me, sh oh, <laughs> my rival. Some me shell guy made fun of my Pokemon. Darn it, my Pokemon are great. Eh, well, you know, eh, you know, sometimes he's telling the truth, sometimes he's not, and uh, whoa, okay, I wouldn't make fun of your Pokemon. Come on, Nido King. It's a badass Pokemon. The hell, are they, the hell are they talking about? a badass Pokemon. So let's go with Erwin right here and uh, speed button away. Take a double kick. Here we go with the surf attack. Surf and turf does its thing right there. That is how you do it guys. Alrighty. Alright now back to the whole plan with Cinder. And uh, let's see what we got. Let's go ahead and battle this guy. He's looking all mysterious. I love Pokemon. That's why I started and I will keep on collecting them. That's good. That's very good. Speed button. Let's go with a slow bro. And, uh, well, let's switch it up right here with Magneto. That confusion tech will 
kind of do something, and here we go again, and a spark attack, and a crud. Okay, so we need to heal our Pokemon. Probably, probably the worst case scenario that I came in all weak and shit, so... Let's go right ahead and use, uh, where are my potions? Speed button. Alright, let's see, here we go, super butt potion right here. Alrighty, bring it on. Spark attack again, disable, sonic boom. Confusion, Sonic Boom, eat that. And Cinder grows to level 22. And Magneto, eh, you know, I get some name recognition and all that stuff right there. Which is good. Very, very good. Okay, so heal up our Pokemon first. And then attack later, so. Here we go, speed button. Speed button again. You know what, speed button everyone because we only need some. Speed button Cinder. And, uh, well, let's continue on our adventure right here. So here we are in the Lake of Rage, known as Gyarados Lake. And uh, let's see, if you talk to this lady, did my eyes deceive me? I saw a red Gyarados in the lake. But I thought Gyarados were usually blue. Well, we all thought they were blue too, but... Yeah, okay, so I wonder if the fishing guru will actually give me a potion right here. Let's see. Lake of Rage is actually a crater made by a rampaging Gyarados. The crater filled up with the rainwater and the lake was formed. That's why the story is passed from grandpa to great great grandpa to great 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 grandpa to great 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 grandpa. It used to be the that you could catch lively magic carp here, but I don't understand what's happening. Uh, I don't know. Do we have a radio? Let's see. Yeah, we do have a radio. I completely forgot about that. Okay, so let's go get this radio right here. Um, Pokey gear. Let's use this. And uh, radio. The radio is currently not working. Wow. Okay. Never mind. Alrighty, Sue. So let's see. What do we got now? Let's see. Uh, before I go to Gyarados, I could find. Well, there are people right here. Maybe there's an item right here that I can get. I don't know. I'm always down for items. Let's go right here. And this actually looks like a big ass crater, so that's good. And here we have the elixir, which is good too. Which helps us out a lot. And uh, well, let's continue on with the running. Let's see, what do we got? This guy. I heard this lake was made by a rampaging Gyarados. I wonder if there's any connection to their mass outbreak now. Mass outbreak? I didn't know about that. Okay, so let's see, where are we going now? Okay, we're going to be going straight to the red Gyarados. And as you probably already can tell, it's going to be a big one. The Gyarados is angry, it's a bad omen. And where the hell are you, Lance? Okay, item. Where the hell are you, Lance, you slut? Okay, here we have a rare candy. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and uh, find Lance, the dragon-type trainer right here. Except we're finding this guy. They built this platform so us fresh fishers can fish better. True, that is true. Uh, where the... Okay, so I saw Lance around here somewhere. He was probably... Okay, he was right here somewhere. Or were my eyes deceiving me? I don't know. Okay, so let's go right here and uh, use the surf attack. And, uh, well, let's see. I believe you can actually dive over there or something. Probably, I don't even know. Okay, so there we go, Magikarp. Along the way right here. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and switch. And just move on ahead right here. So let's go. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and use, uh, whatchamacallit to repel. I think it's my last repel that I have on me. Let's see, where the heck are you? There you are. Oh no, actually I have two more repels, so that's good. Very, very good. And uh, we won't get bothered right here, but I guess you could surf right here. Where the hell are you? What the hell did they... Okay, so what the hell did they do on this place? It's a big-ass island right here. And, uh, well... Oh, damn. Where is that red gear? Oh, there he is. Okay, so I found the red Gyarados. But where the hell is Lance? This is kind of weird. This is awesome, but weird at the same time. So, I'm going to save my game right here because I don't know what I'm going to be going into. Or that way I can just, like, you know, replace it and then, you know, go back. So, let's see. I'm going to... What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch out to Shroom Lee because he does have that Paralyze, uh, or the Stun Spore. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Doesn't even make a sound. But there you are, guys. A rare Gyarados. A rare red Gyarados. 
Doesn't really look red, but it's still something. As you guys probably already know. Oh wait, you guys probably don't know right now. Or, I don't know, by the time I already open... Ah, you guys already know, I have a red Gyarados on my team. So here we go, Stun Spore, for the win. There we go. You're not getting away, you asshole red Gyarados. And here he comes out with a Thrash, which is a very powerful move. Very critical. Holy crud. It's a very critical, very powerful Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and uh, use a Mega Drain. There we go. And uh, let's see, this guy is thrashing about. Okay, so. I don't know. I don't know what's going on right. Oh, he's confused now. Let's go again with another Mega Drain. Go and critical hit. That was a good one right there. Alrighty. Come on. You confused. Hurt yourself just a little bit. There we go. And uh, well, it continues to fall. I do have an Ultra Ball with me. So let's go right ahead and use a white or a Mega Drain right here. And uh, Okay, so I guess it's a good, a good enough level to be captured, and it hurt itself one more time. Okay, so this is a little scary right now, so I gotta capture him right here, right now. Alright, let's use that Ultra Ball. Alright, Ultra Ball, go! Here we go, come on, stay in the ball, stay in the goddamn ball, stay in the ball, stay in the goddamn ball, stay in the ball! Yes! Throwing out that peace sign! That's right, I'm throwing out the peace sign. Okay, so here we have a red Gyarados, and uh, it, it, it has an extremely aggressive nature. The Hyper Beam it shoots from its mouth totally incinerates all targets. Probably, I don't even know. And you guys already know what this guy's nickname, and I'm going to re-nickname him again. So let's go right ahead and uh, go with Hydra number two. Alright, where are you? There we go. Hydra... I'm not gonna go with that, but I'm gonna go with like right here. Number two. Alrighty. Okay, so the box is full, so he's going to number two right there, which is good. And so he disappears, and after that we get ourselves a red scale, which of course is a rare, rare, rare kind of item. And uh well what happens when you get done right here? So we're gonna be moving on and uh Oh, there he is! There you are, you little slut. Let's go ahead and talk to Gyarados, or this guy. This lake is full of Gyarados, but nothing else. So the Magikarp are being forced to evolve. Did you come here because of the rumors? You're Draven. I'm Lance, a trainer like you. I heard some rumors, so I came to investigate. I saw the way you battled earlier, Draven. I can tell that you're a trainer with considerable skill. If you don't mind, could you help me investigate? Well, I don't see why not. So let's go right ahead and exceed. Excellent! It seems the lake's Magikarp are being forced to evolve. A mysterious radio broadcast coming from the Hogany is, is the cause. I'll be waiting for you, Draven. And he disappears just like that. Okay. Alrighty, so let's see. Um, Toxie Batman. So let's go right ahead and uh, let's go straight to Cherry Grove City because there is a little something there that we need. Just a little something that we need right there since we got the red scale and all that stuff. So, going on right here, we're going to be going straight to the uh, Pokemon, Mr. Pokemon's house. So let's go right ahead. And uh, be attacked by a Spinarak, which we already caught. Okay. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead. Let's continue. Let's continue right here. Alright, okay, nope. Another Pokemon attack. Okay, that's always good. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, speed button. We should probably speed button this whole thing. Okay. And speed button away because we're going to be attacked by a bunch of Pokemon. So there's a Poliwag right there. I'll capture you later. I'll capture you later. Okay, so let's go straight to Mr. Pokemon's house. And homeboy right here is going to notice that we got... Hmm. That scale! What's that? A red Gyarados? That's rare. I... I want it! Draven, would you trade? would you care to trade it? 
I can offer an experience share I got from Professor Oak. Yes, sir, Bob. So we got ourselves a experience share, which we will be using on Cinder now. And, uh, okay. Uh, let's see, let's see. I think we're already done with uh, all that stuff. I think we already showed Togepi to Professor Elm. So, let's go back to Mahogany Town and uh, take care of other businesses right here, I guess. I don't even know. Okay, so... We're gonna we're gonna do this whole Team Rocket thing in the next episode, guys. Um, as you can see, it's already been 20 minutes and all that stuff. So, hopefully, you enjoyed this episode. I will be back for another one uh, pretty soon here. See you.